Just talk about the rivalry a little bit and, and how special is it to always go down there and play. You know, I don't. I don't think that we would put this one in the in the rivalry category. I think we put this in a game we look forward to because they're a quality team, and we've had good games in Austin. Um, I think we've tied twice down there, out of our three trips, uh, one here last year against these guys, and um, and we just look forward to it. It's always a good game, but there's no heated tensions between these two. You know, despite the university's rivalries, I think it's a very respectful game, and and we enjoy it. What do you expect to see from the Longhorns tomorrow night? Well, they're playing their best soccer of the year. Um, they've got their goalkeeper back from the World Cup, and I think Coach Kelly, who's taken over the team, has done a good job of getting them to understand what she wants. And there's always transition early. So, you know, thoughts of their early season demise were greatly exaggerated, and I thought that the whole time. I was like, just, you know, wait, they're going to get it together. And they have, um, and they look good. So we'll have to be at our best to, uh, to get a result down there. How do you feel like everybody's bounced back this week during practice? Very well. You know, I, I think it's one thing to be outplayed or outclassed, and you start to question yourself. Well, that obviously didn't happen. It was a battle, um, and unfortunately, we gave up a set piece late that cost us. But um, we look over the course of the last 14 games, and we see how well this team has played, and we've answered every call and uh, every bell and every challenge that's come our way. And so we moved past it pretty quickly and started to get excited about this home, this last you know run of five games and hopefully beyond. How big is this game just in terms of the Big 12 standings? You know, it, in terms of the Big 12 standings, I think this will be impactful because we're trying to get our third win. Tech's trying to get their fourth win. There's a lot of jockeying, you know, for position in the top four or five. And so I think that there are some, there are some significant ramifications of who gets three or one on this weekend. But it's not just our game. It's across the board in the Big 12. You know, when you've got eight really good teams, um, or nine really good teams, and there are no easy games. You, first of all, you can't predict the results. And number two, every one of them seems to, to shuffle the deck pretty significantly from top to bottom. We may not get a chance to talk to you Sunday, but uh, talk about what these seniors have meant to your program. Well, as everyone knows, this is the first full class that we've brought in. And so now they graduate. And I think they committed here before the John Walker Soccer Complex was completed. Uh, before we reined in a bunch of these really awesome young players that are here now. And they really came here on, on uh, faith that we would put together the program that we promised them that we would. And that takes a leap because Morgan and Connor, I'm sorry, Morgan and, well, Connor is technically in this class, Morgan, Connor, and, and Tiffany and, and the others could have gone anywhere and could have played a lot of places. But they fell in love with this campus, decided they wanted to be a part of building the program. And so you really have to, Tip your hat to ladies who will come in. I mean, it's not that hard to get excited to come here now. It's pretty easy, as a matter of fact. But for those guys, it was like, all right, you know, I like the school. I like you guys, but we better do this because, you know, I'm passing on some other places that are already there. And uh, what's been great is to see them reap the benefits of their hard work and their commitment to this program. And we really want to honor that aspect. I think that's the legacy that they're going to leave, is that they were the first class with some big names in it that said, yeah, I'll do that. I want to build the program with you, Coach, and so we'll be forever grateful for this class. And then could you also talk a little bit about uh, Jaylene Hinkle, who, how she is as a player and the biggest improvement you've seen between last year and this year? Well, you know, Jay's a top-class college player with some international experience. You know, she's been with the under-20 national team and, and younger a few times and has done very well at that level as well. But she's just a consummate two-way player. I mean, she plays left back, but she's half the time all the way up the field playing left wing or left mid. Super fit, very, very technical. And I think where she's improved this season is her service has gotten really dangerous. She's always had the skill to get that ball across, but now she's finding people. She had two assists, I think, against Oklahoma when we won that game. Um, and just her ability to convert one of her attacks into, into goal-scoring chances for us has really risen in the last probably eight or nine games. And I knew once that came around for her, then her kind of attacking game would be pretty complete. Um, she committed herself to 1v1 defending, has become a better header. Uh, she just really committed to her craft, doesn't want to be done with soccer after college, and so has a big agenda for this team for her and for herself. Who would win a foot race between Jaylene and Janine? Oh, boy, who made you ask that question? I don't know. I think if there was a ball at stake and the game was on the line, it might be a tie. Um, Janine looks like she's the fastest player we've got, but here's the thing about Jaylene is when there's something on the line and she's got to go get it, uh, I haven't seen her outrun. So in a game scenario, it might be a dead heat. But if it's just for fun, I might give the edge to the gazelle, Janine. Yeah, I mean, obviously Friday was a tough loss. Um, a lot of emotion was expanded on that night. And, and um, I think, 
you know, we've just been taking that moment with an extra day uh, this week to train since we didn't have a game on Sunday. So we've used that to our advantage. It's been a really good week training, and I know we just can't wait to get out there on, on Friday night. What's a win over the Longhorns mean to you personally? Personally, I, I think there's just a huge rivalry between Texas and Texas Tech. And, um, you know, we, we got one up on them last year in Big 12 play, and then they got one up on us in uh, conference play. So, you know, it's unfinished business between us and them. So I'd say um, for the team, it means, it means just as much as it does to me. Obviously, it's not a rivalry you grew up with uh, where you were from, but um, have you learned a lot about it and, and just talk about, uh, you know, uh, I guess that rivalry a little bit? Sure, yeah, I mean, last year coming in, uh, I didn't know any team, you know, uh, the coaches and the players would talk about, oh, this team does this, and we don't like them because of what they've done, and that kind of thing, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's cool, and, you know, so I was able to make my own judgments uh, about each team after playing them. So now I've, I've had a whole season of experience, and I've managed to, you know, gain my interpretations of each team and what to expect, and I think that's helped me uh, this season. How much just coming off that close loss and, and playing Texas, you know, amp you guys up for this week? Yeah, as I mentioned before, you know, we expend a lot of energy um, and emotion and in a win or a loss, and, um, you know, it didn't go our way last Friday night. So I think that just means that we want it just that much more. Um, it's coming down to crunch time, and we really have to win these games. So it just means everything, and, and we've got nothing to lose, so we just have to lay it all out on the field. We may not get a chance to talk to you again before Sunday, but... Uh, <laughs> Talk about what some of these seniors have meant to this team and a uh, chance to kind of honor them one senior day. Sure, I mean, I've known the seniors now for a, for a year or just over a year, and they're just fantastic. I know they, they were part of um, a big part of building this, uh, this team uh, from the very beginning, their freshman year. And, you know, they've, they've given everything they've, from the players who play 90 minutes to the players who, you know, play a half a game or even, even no minutes if they're injured. Um, they, they all just have put in a lot, and I know without the influence of those players on and off the pitch, the team wouldn't be where it is now. I'm definitely very, very excited, and it's just like double excitement because it's Texas, and we always love to play Texas, and you know, uh, they beat us last year in like the Big 12 tournament, and so we just have a sour taste in our mouth, and we're going to come out fighting. What are you expecting to see from the Longhorns this week? Um, you know, I don't really, I don't really know. I just... I know that they're, I mean, I think just Texas Tech versus Texas is always just going to bring out, you know, the fight in each player. And so I think that it's just going to be a very, like, fast-paced, but, you know, high emotions type game. And, um, but I really think that we're going to execute well. And, you know, we've worked so hard on, you know, just um, fixing the little details in our game. And so I just think that it's all, it's going to work out well. And so we're very excited. Coming off that, that tough loss on, on Friday night, just getting back out there and playing again and, you know, have another shot at it, how exciting is that? It's exciting, and it's just like you have so much more to play for, you know. Um, you know, obviously you have so many hard feelings after a game like that, and I think all of us are still really feeling, you know, the loss, and, you know, we all hate to lose, and so I just really think that this game is going to be crucial. We're going to have feelings, you know, from that loss, and then we're going to have feelings from, you know, we really want to beat Texas, and it's just going to be—it's going to be a high game, high emotions game.